Okay, so this is the new flight cage for my benches. It is by Preview. I don't know if you can see that. Preview, as you can see. Um, and I believe it's for a larger bird. Um, it's a good size. Uh, this is the door here. Let's see. Um, so this door opens and, and then the whole thing um, opens outward. Um, but I have it clipped at the bottom with little, this little hair tie thing. So, and, um, cause it has a mini door on the inside and this just slides up. So you can clip this when you slide it up to up here. So like that works out. Um, this is the only door on the entire cage or the only two doors, a door within a door. So that's that. Um, the bar spacing is about half an inch, I believe. And it, oh, sorry. Um, it came with these two, uh, let me come over here. It came with these, these two dowels, this, this one here, and this one up here, which you can see. Okay, so that's what it came with. And then I put these little ones in. This one, I also put one up towards the bottom here. Um, and then I put, this is a fig branch, that one. Um, I think that's it, so we have, yeah. And then I put the plastic ones, you know, these plastic ones here that are um, a little grippy. And then I put this little, this is some kind of uh, fruit, um, you know, perch, and it could go either way. You can use it like that side if you want to use the rough side, or if you want the flat side. So I'm using the flat side so I can put a little plate of food on there, and then they have their little bowl and they could peck right here. Um, and then obviously I put branches in there. So this this branch is pretty good. They like, um, and this branch comes from a tree. I can't remember the name of it, but it's in my front yard, which also has some kind of like fruit type um, things that the birds eat. I looked up to make sure like all of these branches were safe. Now those little cups I bought separately. Be nice, be nice. See, this is what they do. They, they do this little pecking thing. This is day five and this is what they do. Um, my cordon blue, they like to peck try not to get involved, but, um, the cordon blue is more of like the alpha, and, um, my orange cheek is more, he's more passive, and he's kind of just, he's not really participating in the, in the nonsense of the cordon bleu at the moment. They're not really fighting, they just do that little peck thing, where they kind of, you know, peck towards each other's beaks, but they don't really do anything. So now that nest, I just put that in there. It's really just a prop. They don't really, uh, the cordon blue kind of, or they go on it, like they go around on the rim on it, but they don't really go inside it. I just put it in there, just decoration really. I was kind of hoping maybe one of them would sleep in it, but that didn't work out. Um, I made these little I call them rafts, but uh, if I could zoom in, maybe I could go on this. Hold on one second. Let me excuse my shakiness. I'm trying to climb on a stool so I could stand up here so I could show you what I did. Okay, now we're way too zoomed in. Okay, so if we're on the top, um, on the inside, um, so if you see that inside corner, I, I made... Um, you know, I just made kind of like a, a corner shelf with the dowels into the corner, and then I put them also on the outside. Um, oops, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, so like two layers on the outside, um, and then I also did it on the other corner. So they both, they actually, you can see this one better. So that's kind of like where they, they like to sleep. Um, so it's not a nest per se, but it gives them 
a little bit of, um, you know, somewhere to rest. Um, you know, Feeny, this one, my orange cheek has a leg issue, so it was really good for him, so he doesn't have to perch the entire night. He could 